what she clearly loves. Okay, yeah, she really does hate it here. Okay, look, maybe this isn't my dream destination. This place is horrible, and I am worried I will never get the smell out of my hair. Here's the cobblestone and stick. But you need to get me out of here. I know we've had our issues, but I also know that you're a hero or whatever. Uh, sure, Stella, we'd be happy to have you. If you're happy, I'm happy. No matter how many worlds I see, it always seems to come back to levers. Okay, let's do this. Zombie wave incoming! Prepare yourself! surprised. Admin? It's not enough that you disregarded all the rules in my icy palace of doom, tried to upset the delicate order of the Sunshine Institute. Now you're trying to disrupt the therapeutic benefits of my zombie mine? What gives? Pretty sure your fellow inmates were just trying to peacefully live out the rest of their captivities. Well, after you came to Beacon Town and wrecked everything, it seemed like the least I could do. It's terribly rude, is what it is. <laughs> Edmund! Sir! I'm very disappointed in you, Warden. I I'm j I'm, uh, yeah, I'm just a nervous eater. I'm sorry. Ugh, no, not that. I'm disappointed that you couldn't keep Jesse in line for one measly day! I was just trying to do my job, and now I'm in trouble because of you! This job isn't easy to begin with. Yeah, sorry about that, Warden, but you kind of work for a terrible person. He doesn't deserve an apology, Jesse! Oh, for the love of... Enough! I'm through letting you disappoint me! for you, and you, and you, and especially you. And as for you, I've been looking for an opportunity for you to prove your loyalty, to prove your worth as my champion. I 
suggest you pull out your sword and attack Jesse. And as for you, Jesse, well, don't think I don't believe in fair play. <laughs> now we'll have some real fun. I had such high hopes for you, Jesse. The highest of hopes. Yeah. You could have been my yeah. champion. You gave it all away. No, I can't. This isn't happening. <sighs> Ow, Jack! Mouth shut, ears open. We only have one chance here. I'm going to head over to the island, and we'll both attack him. Trust me, friend. Yeah. Idea. Swords can't hurt me. Uh -oh. oh. All I asked you to do is fight your friend to the death, and you can't even do that. I don't even want you to be my friend anymore. And I don't want you to be my friend either. In fact, as far as I'm concerned, this whole place can burn to the ground. What about Prisoner X? What about all of us? The Institute remains inescapable. So what do I care? I'm leaving. And I'm never thinking about any of you ever again. So I'll just be my own friend now. Can't dwell on the setbacks. Do you even listen to yourself when you talk? That made zero sense. To you, maybe. But I don't care what you think. <laughs> I'm gonna have loads of friends soon. After all. Jesse, right? No! <gasps> no way! You coming? I got your back, Jesse. Trust me. I take care of Luna for me. Coming, darling admin! Stella is just the beginning. Your other friends will fall in line too. Lucas, Axel, Olivia, all of them. Don't worry, I'll take good care of Beacon Town. <laughs> He's gone. Jesse, we gotta stop him. Jack. Look, I am sorry everyone, I, I can't, I just, I'm sorry. Uh, shut up with the sorries, you doof. Let's hope Prisoner X is really our ticket out of here. Man, am I glad you're okay, Jack. Hmm. Yeah, uh, it got a little dicey there for a while, didn't it? I mean, after what happened with you know, not Voss, then I was in the admin's freaky place and, and uh, not in control of what I was I was uh, doing. I was in pain. I I, I I was so scared that you'd all give up on me. Hmm. That's. That sounds horrible. Not to uh, be insensitive, but you're okay now, right? Not, like, under the admin's control. 